they play in our lives. Number one, they're always with you. They're with you during the day. They're with you when you sleep at night. They are with you for the most significant and insignificant moments of Qadr, moments of divine decree. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we do reaction videos. So if there's anything you think we should look into just for the sake of watching or for reacting, whatever the case is, let us know in the comment section below. Other than just doing reactions, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 and we've got some very interesting videos up the, out there and you can just check them out. And if you want to see that something on that channel as well, you can let us know in the comment section below, either on this channel or the other one, depending on what sits well with you guys. We've got a... Um, our second channel is called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and you can find us on iTunes or Podbean. And just listen to the conversations there. I really think we have some good conversations. So you guys just head there, listen to what we spoke about or we've spoken about so far, and yeah, just enjoy what's there. We've got a Patreon account as well, with Funny and Jesse. You can just check it out, become a member, and we'll be very, very grateful if i'm forgetting anything then you can find everything in the description box below but you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse feel free to communicate with us i think it's better if you send a friend request because because if you don't send one the message won't be in the main message thingy so yeah if i'm forgetting any, like i said if i'm forgetting anything you can find the links to everything that i've mentioned in the, in the description box and let's get it going a big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing commenting um asking how we're doing um sharing our videos watching our videos you guys are the best and please subscribe we're almost reaching 20,000 not almost but we're almost there road to 20,000 please subscribe we wouldn't do it without you guys we didn't even be here without you guys so thank you thank you thank you thank you to everyone that's here and just Thank you. I hope you guys are doing alright. So as you can tell from the title, today I'll be reacting to the angels that protect you 24-7 without wasting time. Let's get into the video. I love you So you see these incidents online where a person is walking on the street and they don't see a bunch of cars that are coming and a truck, this huge truck, is about to collide into them and then suddenly it's as if an arm just pulls that truck away and it goes in a completely different direction or someone who misses four cars and they collide and that person just stands there and they're okay. Or uh, in some situations you see someone that is involved in a freak accident and you know the guy that's jogging on the beach and then suddenly a plane hits him while he's jogging on the beach or something along those lines and it's like you witness divine decree in precision you witness that qadr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that perfect qadr of allah and then relate that to your own self you know sometimes you're on the highway and you're driving and you're supposed to be in a car accident you know, you're doing something that distracts you and then in that moment of distraction, something horrible is about to happen and then you see what happens around you and you say, SubhanAllah, Allah protected me. Those that have seen their children, you know, fall and if they would have fallen just a little bit differently, right, then it would have hit the back of their head or this would have happened or that would have happened. All of these things that we witness in our lives obviously speak to the overwhelming power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they have something to do with the angels as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَهُ مُعَقِّبَاتُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِ يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ That every single person has a guardian angel in front of them and behind them that protect them from the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that concept uh, requires a lot of reflection. Number one, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, we're always so paranoid about the devils, the devils, the shayateen, they're everywhere, the jinn, the jinn. Every single human being has only one shaitan assigned to them and four angels assigned to them. Now, everything else that, that, that's invited into your life of angels or devils is invited as a result of your good deeds or your bad deeds. But every single person has, proportionally speaking, 
four angels that are with them, and only one devil. Two angels that protect you, and two angels that record on you. Okay, so the two angels that record and the two angels that guard you. But only one shaitan that whispers and tempts. But of course, environments and deeds invite more angels or more shayateen. But what do those guardian angels do and uh, what role do they play in our lives? Number one, they're always with you. They're with you during the day. They're with you when you sleep at night. They are with you for the most significant and insignificant moments of qadr, moments of divine decree in your life. Mujahid rahimahullah ta'ala, he said that those angels protect you from any wild animal, from any uh, riding animal, from any beast, from any person who wants to harm you. Even a namal fi udhunik, an ant that would be in your ear, if the decree is not upon you to be harmed, those angels will shoo away those bugs, they will push away those objects that are coming your way and protect you. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, when he was told that there was a tribe, the tribe of Murad, and they were planning to attack him, he said that they cannot harm me with anything unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed it, for Allah has set up guardian angels for each person. And the only time that a person is harmed is when those angels are told to stand down, when they move out of the way. And that's what Ibn Abbas ta'ala anhu, he said that out of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those angels will protect you and they will be there for you and they will only move out of the way when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees otherwise. And this is a powerful concept on an individual level because you think about the story of the Prophet sallallahu and Jibreel alayhi salam protecting him from his enemies or the Muslims in the battle of Badr and the angels being sent in hundreds to protect them to where the Muslims could even see that their enemies were being thrown off of their horses and the sound of a whip crackling on someone and they don't see the whip and they don't see who's actually, uh, you know, who's actually doing it, but they were just seeing these things happen in front of them. Or the Prophet like, so I'm talking about the end of times where Dajjal would try to enter into Medina, but he would find angels at its gate that are protecting it from all directions. In our own individual lives, if you think about that, what Ibn Abbas anhu mentions, that you have these angels that are in front of you and behind you. And the only time, the only time that they step aside is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees that harm is coming to you. And that harm is what was decreed in the womb, also written by an angel, that your date of death, your lifespan, and that moment for you to go is now. And so those angels move aside when the decree of death comes your way, only for your soul to be transferred to another group of angels with the shroud either of paradise or the shroud of hellfire. Very, very interesting video. It's like today I'm just reacting to interesting things, despite how cold it is. But, um, like we know God is always looking out for us. This is a reminder that we're never alone. We're never alone because someone is watching over us. Someone is making sure that our path is clear of all distraction, is clear of all bad things. It's up to us to look into those. It's up to us to accept that we'll never be alone, whatever the case is. Even if we push God, God will always be there with us. But I had no idea that there's always four angels protecting us. That's my first time hearing such a thing. Um, also, since God is always watching over us, it's rare that bad things should happen to us. Even if bad things happen, not that it's rare, but even when bad things happen, it's because god wants that thing to happen to you not not because he doesn't love you no because he just wants you to go through that moment experience it see how you handle it and then life moves on but um we should we shouldn't lament when that when something bad happens to us it's really really up to us Maybe God is trying to teach us something. Maybe God is trying to open our eyes, ears, whatever the case. Otherwise, we shouldn't look at it as a bad thing. Also, 
there's many times many of us have found ourselves removed from certain scenes scenes as in like movie scenes yes scenes otherwise you find yourself you were supposed to go somewhere with your friends but for some reason you forgot something and you said you meet them later and your friends get involved in an accident all such things happen because god planned for you not to be part of that accident because god said this is not your time for you to go through such a thing but then sometimes ignorance pushes all these things away it's up to us to remember that it's because of god's doing that all such things are happening like this and there's noise in the background otherwise let me know what you guys think about this video if you've experienced such a thing or whatever the case is just let us know what you think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video